channel. We're back in my kitchen and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a delicious torta using bacon. Okay, first what you're going to need, a couple pounds of bacon, depending on how many you're going to make. I have about two pounds of bacon here. You can buy it at your uh, meat market, butcher, grocery store, whatever you want to do. It's just regular uh, bacon. It's not any flavor. You're going to start frying them up, put them on there, let them cook. nice and crispy and ready for us to take off of this here pot plate. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off and prepare all the ingredients for our sandwich. Alright guys, once you finish cooking your bacon, you're going to go ahead and chop up some lettuce, finely. Okay, I've got some um, it's called uh, queso fresco. It's the La Vaquita brand. And then I just went ahead and minced up some, uh, some onion. You want to make it really fine. And then I've got an avocado here, okay? Now this bread is the bread that we're going to be using. This is what we use, okay? You can't buy these at the grocery store. You've got to go to some type of Mexican bakery in your area if they do have one. Um, some meat markets have them as well. So this is what we, this is what we use. This is called a fresh bolillo. Okay, bolio. So then what you're going to do is get you a, a bread knife and you're going to slice it right down the middle. Okay, don't put too much pressure on it. Just slice it open just like that. Okay, open it up. It's almost like a sandwich. Okay, you're just going to open it up like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take mayonesa. Okay, it's a Mexican mayonnaise. It's got lime in it really good okay you're gonna put you some of this on there a fair amount not too much but make sure it's enough or about a tablespoon at least I guess you're gonna go ahead and put it on both sides of the bun not just one both okay All right, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of your bacon, okay, and you can put as much as you want. I usually put about six or seven pieces in each sandwich. It just depends on what you like. Okay, you're just gonna stack them in there, just like so, okay? That's how it's gonna look. You're gonna just stuff them in there like that. Okay, then you're going to put your lettuce, okay, this is optional, you don't have to put the lettuce if you don't want to, this is what we make them, you can do them without lettuce if you don't like lettuce, okay, then we put our, you know what, I'm going to put the onions first and then the cheese, okay, and you want to make sure that you put your cheese very fine, okay, you don't want it to be too thick, then whenever you start on the avocado, what you're going to do, you have to make it really thin, okay? You can take it out and do it like this, or you can keep it in here. It's up to you. What I usually do, I like to slice it very, very, very thin, okay? Just like that. You don't want it to be too thick or overwhelming, okay? You just keep slicing just like that, okay? Then... You just push up a little bit on the avocado, see that? And it'll come out. And this is actually two, this is actually two pieces here. I think, is it? Yes it is, okay. 
So you see how thin I made that? Look at that. Very, very thin. That's how you want it to be. Okay, on the thinner, and the thinnest you can cut it, the better. Okay? And then you just push up on that like that. It makes it a lot easier for it to come out. Okay? And there you have it. A delicious torta with bacon, lettuce, cheese, onions, and avocado. And mayonesa. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you try it. If you do, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Don't forget, if you haven't already, go down below, subscribe. Remember, everything for this sandwich that I made just now is going to be in the description box below. Y'all take care and be safe in these times. Bye-bye now.